Hello and welcome. I'm the Candyman, and you're watching Apocatips on State of Decay 2. That's right, we're back with more Apocatips, the series where we give you, the viewer, tips and tricks on how to better survive the zombie apocalypse. Now, if you have a tip or trick that you feel like would be helpful for other survivors to know, go ahead, leave a comment down below, and you might see it featured in the next video. Now, if you find this video helpful, go ahead, hit the like. Also, consider subscribing as well, and you'll get better at surviving the apocalypse. I promise. All right, today's Apocatip is a breakdown of all the bases in the new Trumbull Valley map. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the very first base that we will start off with today is Checkpoint Delta. Now, it comes with four parking spots, which is nice, and also uh, military cots built in. Uh, now, it also has two small outdoor slots. So really, there's not a lot going for this starter base, but uh, you got to make do with what you can. All right, so the first non-starter base that we'll talk about is the Red Talon Daybreak Forward Operating Base, or FOB for short. So with this, you will get a bunch of Red Talon facilities already built in. So you'll get the clear relay, a uh, bunk room, officer quarters, a workshop, armored storage, watchtower, and then you'll have four parking spots. And then finally, you'll be able to have uh, one large outdoor slot to use as you see fit. So some things to note about this base. So it is located in the northwestern part of the map, um, and it is probably one of, if not the easiest to defend bases. And then an additional bonus is that you are also able to bring on a free Red Talon contractor. So the next base that we will cover is Pterodactyl Park. So with this base, you'll get quite a few existing facilities, uh, two of which are clearable, Grizzly Remains, the Trash Pile. You'll also get built-in storage and beds, and then probably the most attractive uh, facility is by far the soundproof latrine which does a great job of boosting morale uh, you also get four parking spots and then you'll have a couple open slots to do with as you see fit all of which are outside or i should say outdoors uh, you'll get one large outdoor slot and three small outdoor slots so as far as this base is concerned um, it is located kind of centrally east, if that makes sense. Um, so this is a great alternative to the starter base. Um, you want to kind of move here as quickly as you can, uh, and perhaps scavenge the eastern portion of the map, and then move to one of the bases down south. All right, so next up we have the farmland compound. Uh, so with this base, as always, you'll have a couple of existing facilities, the first of which is a refugee clinic, which essentially is an upgraded infirmary. Uh, next, you have the sturdy bunkhouses, which add some additional beds. And then finally, you have the barbecue pit, which is a kitchen. Uh, now, you'll have four parking spots to work with. Also, you'll have quite a few open slots to work with. Uh, you'll have three large outdoor slots and then one each of a small indoor slot and a small outdoor slot. Uh, so really one thing to note about this base is that it is centrally located. And as far as defendability goes, it's not the easiest to defend in terms of having lower walls and being a little bit spread out. All right, next up we have arguably the best base on the map, Fort Marshall. So this base is going to have quite a few existing facilities built in, and the bonuses that they provide are pretty straightforward. Uh, so with this base, you'll get a shooting range, a clinic, barracks, catering station, a latrine, and then defense towers as well. Uh, now you'll also get a couple of open slots to do with as you see fit. You'll get two large outdoor slots, and then one each of, of the small slots, so one indoor and one outdoor now as far as the location of this base it's located in the southernmost part of the map which in terms of you know scavenging and looting and just kind of moving around the map it's not the most ideal uh, but what is ideal is how defendable this base is um, it's a fort for a reason so last but certainly not least we have tranquility factory which is intriguing not just visually but also in the facilities that it provides. 
So it comes with the factory incinerator, which allows you to exchange resources for morale. Uh, it also comes with a meditation garden, which also allows you to boost morale. And then finally, it comes with a storage slot. Uh, you'll also have, as always, four parking spots to work with. And then you'll be able to do a lot of customization in this space. Um, in total, you'll have five open slots to work with, one of which is a large outdoor slot, and then both two small indoor and outdoor slots. Now, as far as location is concerned, uh, it is located on the southwestern part of the map. And then in terms of defendability, uh, it is definitely not the easiest to defend in terms of its layout. All right, so we'll go ahead and wrap up the video here. So if you liked the video, do me a favor. Hit the like button and consider subscribing as well. Every bit helps. As always, spread the love, spread the positivity, and I'll catch you in the next one.